just moments before the derailment, the train was placed into engineer-induced braking. And this means that the engineer applied full emergency, a full emergency brake application. Maximum authorized speed through this curve was 50 miles per hour. When the engineer induced brake application was applied, the train was traveling at approximately 106 miles per hour. Three seconds later, when the data to the recorders terminated, the train speed was 102 miles per hour. Are you confident that all the fatalities have been accounted for? You say most of the rail... This uh, person has gone through a very traumatic event, and uh, we, we want to give uh, him uh, an opportunity to uh, to um, convalesce uh, for a day or so before we interview him, but that is certainly a high priority for us is to interview the train crew. Is that at the uh, Consolidated National Operations Center in Delaware? Amtrak throughout uh, a good bit of the Northeastern Corridor has a system called Advanced Civil Speed Enforcement. That's called ACES. ACES is installed throughout most of the Northeast Corridor for Amtrak. However, it is not installed uh, for this area where the accident occurred, where the derailment occurred. 106 miles per hour on the speed. How long did it take them to get up to that? It's on our most wanted list. Uh, Congress has mandated that it be installed uh, by the end of this year. Um, so um, we, we are very keen on positive train control. Uh, based on what we know right now, we feel that had such a system been installed in this section of track, this accident would not have occurred.